This needs to be settled. With utmost urgence. Characters I have leveled up and can use artifact wise at least. I guess there's just this team. Candace isn't leveled fully. I forgot to take the pictures. Alright, roll your attack. That 
That's a natural one. Oh my god! Stay close. Dude, you got a natural no, one! No, no, no.
starter, Stibble's Codex of Companions. This book is a supplement for the edition of B&B, adding all new effects, familiars, monsters, spells, and even more. Basically, if you're looking for new familiar options or monsters to add into your D&D games, yeah, this book has got you covered. Why? There's going to be so much stuff in this thing, and a lot of it is really cool, and a lot of it is really weird. Oh god, what is in your head, you strange, strange man? The Kickstarter comes with a PDF if that's what you're into, or a full shebang with monster cards, chibis, a plushie, and even a special edition. I've been hearing a lot about the behind the scenes directly from Logan, but all the stuff he's put in this book, and let's oh, just say, it's really awesome. I think this book is going to be something really special for anyone's game. Oh yeah, I forgot and about that promotion. things to put in there to surprise your players, and maybe even your dungeon master. Be sure to give this Kickstarter a look and back in if you want to secure yourself. When does the next part of the map open up? I really don't get this minigame. going so well. Also, is it just me or is the game super quiet?
God damn it, I don't care anymore. Oops. Ah, that completely ignored the farther most left and right parts. Oh, they are here. Alright, that takes me online. I don't really care, I'd rather just play Osu. <laughs> it was some dark times. Nintendo YouTubers weren't even a thing. If anyone was talking about Nintendo games on YouTube, they were talking about the classic games. You know, they were having funny little like 8-bit chiptune intros and sitting on their couches at the beginning being like, Ah, Super Mario 64. <laughs> That's what a Nintendo YouTuber was back then. But then the Switch came along and it changed everything. Absolutely everything. And it gave a lot of us jobs. <laughs> it gave us jobs and I'm very, very thankful. Uh, but really, like, I, I, I mean, that's, like, you remember, you probably remember, that early Switch hype was absolutely nuts. I mean, everybody was going crazy, midnight launches and all that stuff, and like, on my end, it didn't even matter what the video was about. All I had to do was put Switch in the title, loads of views, tons of views, and it was just, it was so exciting, because like, this was Nintendo making a big comeback, with like, tons of great games, and a lot of these games are like, total, total returns to form, you know, like, oh my gosh, it's Zelda, but it's open world. It's Mario, but it's going back to the sandbox style. And then just the very concept of the Switch. It was so novel, playing handheld or on the TV. Like, all of Nintendo's biggest, greatest games, like their console quality 3D games, but on the go ridiculous there was just an energy surrounding the system you know it was it was so much fun it was such ridiculous fun those early days right now it is six years later i've had this little guy right here for six years not actually this is my this is my third switch uh because i got the one with the better battery life and then this is an oled but you get the idea symbolically this has been with me for six years and like I said, things are still good, absolutely good, but the Switch, it, it really is officially in its twilight years. It's, it's, it's long in the tooth, it's gray in the beard. We'll save discussions and debates over like when the next year is coming, whether it's next year, the year nice. after, whatever. We'll save all that for later. Whenever the successor finally comes, there is no denying that this little thing right here is over the hill, as it were. It, it, it is officially aging. It's time in the spotlight is drawing. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's totally inevitable for any system. But, I mean, it is sad, you know? It's a little bit sad. That hype was with us for so long, and it was so Turn much fun down. that it's, you know, it's just a little bit sad to see, just over time, the overall discourse is kind of... It's died down a lot. I mean, I know people who were super into the Switch early on, you know? But they're just really not that excited about anything Nintendo is doing anymore. Nothing about the Switch is not super exciting anymore. Shipping out and grabbing people. Nintendo is no longer the talk of the town with the crazy cool new system, you know? Especially since now the other next-gen consoles are, you know, on Steam. 
the switch is now feeling weaker and weaker. It, it's struggling more and more to actually run the game, and that's certainly not helping the discord surrounding it. Again, I get it. I, I mean, they, I'm they experiencing may not be it as well, at least, least to a degree. I basically can never play handheld anymore, which is faster. a little bit sad. Uh, you, you wouldn't know it based on the, the worn-off uh, control stick up there, but that's uh, that's my nephew's doing. He plays handheld quite a lot, but I really don't, so none of the Switch's unique features even appeal to me anymore. The novelty of handheld play is worn off, the novelty of the Joy-Cons is worn off, and, and in fact, uh, thanks to the constantly failing Joy-Cons, the, the bare-bones UI, the lack of features, the sluggish eShop, and of course the overall lack of power, um, yeah, it's just not exciting anymore. It's old. I've been playing a lot of games on my Xbox Series X and now my PS5, and I mean, obviously there's a, there's a big difference there. But just for a moment, even forget about like the super crazy detailed fancy graphics. I mostly just like that they're a nice, high resolution, they look nice and clear on my TV with a nice, high frame rate. Just feels good to play. And I used to not care too much at all about frame rate, but uh, I don't know, last couple years I've really come around on it. So now I'm getting so used to playing games that look nice and run nice on my TV that, you know, when a Switch game struggles in either department, resolution or frame rate, or even both, the Switch's graphics are starting to feel downright ancient. Right now, my Nintendo excitement is entirely oh, wow. based are about to get dicey. I'm excited for Fate is upon you. because it's Zelda, <sighs> and I like Zelda. It's another Zelda. You know, I'm excited for Pikmin 4 because it's Pikmin 4. I don't care what system it's on, I just want to play it. But truth be told, I'm not particularly excited to play them on my Switch. I'll play them on my Switch because that's the only option I've got I would actually love to not play them on my Switch. Honestly, you know what I mean? kind of wish I could play them on my Xbox. I know all this sounds really negative, but but like I said, it, it, it's totally natural and inevitable. This was always coming. But I just wanted to kind of reflect on that a bit, you know? It's it's just interesting to finally reach this point and be like, yeah, that hype really has died. Switch hype is just kind of dead. It's kind of not a thing anymore. Well, that's all I really wanted to say. Just wanted to kind of just uh, talk about that here on the sixth anniversary of uh, this Look little you. Yeah. By the way, I think about that. Delved into destiny. Written in the this. stars. There are a lot of people who seem to gotcha. be confused about how old the switch is. And huh. don't Quietly now. And here the comes the catch. Is now the beginning is at the start of its... Pyre, pyre, pants on fire. Right it is. So I've said that, and I've heard people say, no, oh, it's the sixth year. I even wrote an article when they said sixth year, and then they updated it to correct, themse correct themselves to 6th year. No, it launched March 2017. It was zero years old at that time, and it was at the beginning of its first year. March 2018, it is one year old and is entering its second year. 2019 was its third year. 2020, fourth year. 2021, fifth year. 2022, sixth year. Now it is March 2023. Six years are done. It is six years old. That means that we are on its seventh year. This is the seventh year in March 2024, it will be seven years old. That's, it's just the truth of it. Anyway, with all that out of the way, let me know what you think about this whole thing down in the comments, your thoughts on the very concept of Switch hype, and uh, whether or not you think that it is dead. In the meantime, I gotta go, because I got a lot of work to do. Uh, you, you see, because because when I said that uh, videos uh, speculating about the next system and when it might come, when I said those would come later, I meant it. I really meant it, for I am the predictor, I am the speculator, I am a Nintendo YouTuber bandit. whose sole job is to vampirically leech off of Nintendo's success, and this hype train may have stopped, but the next one will be departing soon enough, and you better believe that I'll be on it. Sugar, 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 switch to sugar, sugar, such a good outro, wow. I have goosebumps at how good that outro was.
that's no, no, that's not too much. Sure, why? <laughs> why would you think that is? Weird combos and such. College of Swords Bards can use simple or martial melee weapons as spellcasting focuses. The Dampers Friend Bite counts as a simple melee weapon. You can cast spells with your team. I mean, that's cool, I guess. The biggest change in the new UA. New spare design. I will return a fallen comrade to fight alongside you with no spell slots needed. Old spare design. Congrats! You are now useless rather than this. Second answer! Not the change. Pew! Propagate! With this addition Decided by destiny! I can do what it does and retain my experience after it was I am the priest. What do you do? Please don't eat me. I have 28 and shouldn't wear an alarm on you. Priority. Please have fun with me, I'm so bored. I can't just do this. And at least if this were the reason for people canceling or rescheduling most of the time, it would be. The wrong test subject. I think it would probably be better than just. Delves into death. No reason for just being for, the more I realize that the response is being more acceptable. And that's the encourage him to be done. This is brilliant. Shadows of fate! I like this! Stand up there and wait by the beer. Stop it. When you play druids, the wild sheep, the new chest read the new players. Well, you can ignore them. <laughs> so it's fine. Ah, yes. The resourceless martial palace. Well, the resource and pastors still spend it. Can do it twice. And on the other side, we have Zanax with me. Can I do it twice? And, and one per day, erase all enemies. Conclusion Joe is just as strong as Zanax because he is resourceless. Gaming moment. I yell, You shall not pass like an absolute badass. Then I raise my staff and cast Protection from Good and Evil to keep it from crossing the bridge. But not how the spell works, mate. Oh? <laughs> Proceeds to read the rules, I guess. I want to apologize for starting this course. When you say that 2d6 is better than 1 d because you like more click flags, for click the work most Arthur efficiently, she needs, starts arguing about damage. She needs a way to. This has turned because her burst is basically situation. like Yao Yao. You are basically encouraged to just run that. around. Not because you get benefits from it, but because Klee will fucking die if she tries attacking. <laughs> Alongside Doesn't her burst. It's not a good day. <laughs> if only she could be off field, like why? For 2d8 damage. Oh, because of my French resistance. Problem, DM? Eldritch Blast can only target creatures. Eldritch Blast uh, basically can target a creature with the rain. Step 1. Try to target suspicious object. Targeting. Step 2. Wait for outcome. Target lock. Step 3. If it fails, it's normal. If it succeeds, it's a meme. I mean. Okay, but to do that, you would need to basically try to hit them, right? And if you hit them, then I'll go down. Ask her our contract. Since she's leveled just, up. The DM can say you destroyed it or something. Couldn't you? Has anyone had a player that acted like a left? No, my character is gonna ruin this meeting because it's what their personality is like. Taylor Even can my be disrupted team. character can't tell this meeting is a serious matter. They should be a calm and reasonable person. They forgot to increase the damage on unarmed strikes, breaking my head. Quick attack. You can use unarmed strike as a bonus action. Actions We may uh, leave at any time. Unarmed strike, bestial strike. Then uh, you use your spores again. Okay. Do it with 8 strength, doing zero damage yeah. after bonus action. Find <laughs> our second edition monks are built in Looking through 12 different builds and 40 viable pinkies to find the best one to find oh, someone. Thunder wild. <laughs> No, not this one, maybe the next one. You gotta, gotta make sure that you pick the best one, you know? You gotta make sure that you mean max is fine. Uh, we have kind of work with here. People who have seen both. Oh, the dendro can cost burning, which can uh, go on you too. Makes no sense. Hopefully, we get more world. melts. Walk for the world. The leading designers for 5th edition. The leading designers for 5th edition. But that's basically it. I need to be careful, or else my burst could be wasted. So whether you like it or not, it is meant to be there. Rest fighting and casting is completely unintended. Go and do the best of the animators. Just because you didn't crit, doesn't mean it wasn't a good roll. Same goes for you. Just because you weren't at your best today, doesn't mean you are not worth it. I see you, you got this, and I'm proud of you. Now roll your damage, great work. Oh, a positive message. Oh, that was cute and adorable. Nice. 
Wizards of the Coast books in a nutshell. What should we add to DMD? A new race, a new subclass, a new class. <laughs> no, not a new class. That, no, that is not a bad idea. But, but apparently, for the book. Anyway. What people who talk about min-maxing sound like to actual min-maxers? This is your character, right? You want a fighter who protects the group, right? Yup. So it makes sense to max your strength and constitution, right? That makes sense. So max out your primary attributes. You're a tryhard min-maxer. Just let me roleplay without being critical of my combat mechanics, please. Taking Sailor because it matches your backstory, but it doesn't help your character in any way, and the DM confirms that there is no water or boats in the entire campaign. It was so dumb. It's so dumb, it's brilliant. No! It's just that! The inevitable result of all martial arts. Well, that or that and the nature of D&D homebrews is just that every so often someone accidentally invents 4th edition machine. And we don't want 4th edition, right? No, 4th edition map. Yeah, See, if we're gone, you was a absolutely... Have I ever in my like, what the hell? <laughs> been in a situation where it's this the is constellation of all time. Will you <laughs> allow it? No, but it's still pretty neat. Hey, are you sleeping? Yes, no, shut up. Both in large, we're way behind schedule. Set, metal, don't have a size cap listed under them. Technically, you could reduce a house or hit metal the Death Star. Is that a wonderful Vecna reference? Inspired by the piece of media that I read. The party finds a mummified hand, most likely hand of Vecna. Then they find the eye. There is a second eye of Vecna, quote unquote, eyes leading to the spine of quote unquote Vecna that leads to other parts of quote unquote Vecna. <laughs> What? I'm confused by this. It's just bound to happen at some point. Picking sorcerer or picking wizard, both need to cast fireball on your allies. That's the illusion of free choice. Urge to spy depends on its paladins. I've been around the world, okay? Whatever it is, I understand. To the line, I bet. There's nothing about this that I understand. This comes up every time that there's a playtest. Please balance DD? No, no, only balance. If you're playing a high charisma character and encounter a dragon, consider this, folks. For millennia, dragons have raided and pillaged human villages for gold. Lately, however, they've heard of something called wages, where humans would just give them gold for a good job. Capitalism saves the day. That should give you fall damage falling that fast. Born of ice and frost. Kill you. Winter, this shall you and, uh, Sorry. I do be like that. Why? Yeah. So, I just drew a very scary looking character. God, that is so spooky, says the bard. Dia. Dia, I'm looking at that, that not, not knowing what to make out of being disgusted, I guess, or, you know, repulsed. We're safe, for now. The party about to face a TPK. And then saved by the Warlock's patron, who wants to be owed another favor. Well, that's gonna come back to bite later. Um, I mean, it, it's, I guess if it's the only option for now, yeah, it works. If you want a balanced game, the outliers have to be rated. Wild Shape being quote unquote nerfed to ground, but then the ridiculous unique offensive power of a full caster. Where does it end? The DM, as he's role-playing a chain thing to the park. I'm a dude playing the dude disguised as another dude. <laughs> Just roll with it, okay? Do not mess with my artistic talent. 
Dream Player sees my already painted Tuna Mini on her shelf. Oh, did you paint this? It sucks, lol. Me, the DM, placing it on the board. Everyone roll initiative. Everyone at the table. Oh, hey pal, let's back it up a bit. Nope, nope. You, you said something bad about the DM and your other DM's artistic talent. Well, that's what you deserve, I guess. Uh, that's what you just do uh, the Alright, on that note, that's it for today's video, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to write to me as part of the you already, also thank you to everyone supporting the channel on Patreon, as well as you look better with lots of times after those, links for you to check them out, as well as thanks to the social media, Discord, Sabbath, and everything else, and yeah, that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, bye bye! Add Ash. Thank you for complete. Add Astro.